Hello, friends and family from around the world. Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 27th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we had some pretty active outgoing sunspot regions and the plasma film eruption. And just today we had an M-class solar flare from the limb that is cresting into view. We'll see that here. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, had that plasma eruption yesterday. And then watch on the right-hand side, active sunspot region coming in, M-class solar flare outgoing to pretty active working together sunspot regions turning away lots of plasma involved with those events and now let's have a look at multi-spectrum as we do have quite a big coronal hole that is turning into view upper left hand corner you can see the magnetic field of our sun during the coronal hole turning into view watch for our solar winds to increase over the next few days having a look at 131 angstroms here amazing images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed with daily events worldwide watch on the left hand side there cresting into view m-class solar flare and 171 angstroms this is where we can see our heliosphere in action. And as well, the loops from the magnetic fields of the sunspot regions. Right now, it's very quiet, Earth-facing disk. Most of the activity is turning away and cresting into view. Watching on the left-hand side, cresting in. There are some sunspot regions turning in. Other than that, three earth-facing sunspots five turning away and our current space weather conditions are under r1 minor radio blackout impacts expected over the next 24 hours solar winds are coming in at 320 kilometers per second as right around average watch for that to change over the next two to three days solar x-ray flux showing that spike M-class solar flare. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity slightly raised throughout the day today to a KP of 3. And that was expected. Most recent coronal mass ejections. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing an updated spiral. Showing right up until February 2nd. Minor glancing blow between tonight and the, th the 29th. Other than that, no major new CMEs have been shot towards Earth. We are in the clear, and as well in the clear for sunspot regions, just not in the clear for the coronal hole, which is visible here and will be affecting us. ISPWA Space Predictions Bio showing yesterday's CME taking off towards Venus. And then updated today, we did have an outgoing CME right there, taking out towards or taking off towards Juice, Bepi satellite. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora forecast and tomorrow's. A little bit stronger tomorrow night, but still nothing major. Only about a 20 to 30% probability. Lasco 3 brought to you by Soho, showing the last three days, 72 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun, as we did have three CMEs take off from the sun over the past three days. And that there was the biggest one. Not in an Earth-facing direction. Thank you so much for pressing play. If you're enjoying the show so far, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes. We were so close in last night's video. Now let's carry on with earthquakes. We're going to start out here with a couple pretty deep ones in Lavuka, Fiji. 526 and a 536 kilometer depth. 
as well. 4.8 there, Kermadec Trench. 4.9 earthquake here, south of Australian Plate. Minor seismicity through Indonesia. 5.2, the largest the last 24 hours. Marianas Trench, Guam region. Notable deep earthquake there in the Philippines. And as well, Africa still rocking. Even parts of northern Iran. Notable earthquake here in the United States. Harbor, Maine reporting a 3.8 earthquake. And as well, a 4.2 earthquake here in Clayton, Idaho. 11 kilometer depth. Other than that, no earthquake swarms to talk about across the North American plate. Pretty quiet, but still expecting something in between Idaho and Alaska. Because it's quiet in Alaska and it's quiet in Hawaii. I showed you just a couple days ago the new eruption at Hawaii. This is looking at infrared imagery from today showing the last 12 hours as there is some weak spots in the southern parts of the caldera. And most likely the weak spot over here on the right hand side is where we'll see our next eruption. Because that's what happened the other night, just before lava started spewing out 30 to 80 meters tall. Carrying on with earthquakes here, showing the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world, increasing activity right up the west coast into the North American plate. Way too quiet, South America still and as well central america for that for that matter heads up mexico something big brewing there something big is brewing carrying on here around the world lots of activities still the african plate into the arabian plate multiple new volcanoes have awakened over the last little while if you've been staying tuned we have an active and erupting 72 volcanoes across this, across this planet and it's visible here showing the sulfur dioxide emissions over the next three days. Big plumes still coming out of Kilauea. Multiple eruptions through Mexico, Guatemala. And as well, Central Africa. Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. New Caledonia, even parts of Guam. Overlooking Europe. And as well, the rest of the Atlantic. Nothing major to report, no new plumes. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Big blizzard like conditions across eastern Canada and very cold. Watch for an Alberta clipper to come in quickly in behind the system that we're getting tonight. More snow this week. High pressure ridge will eventually get smashed out by a pretty intense Pacific low pressure system. So the moisture and the lows are going to start coming in for February. And they're going to be some very cold and snowy systems. So eastern Canada gripped over the next couple days with a couple snowstorms and blizzard-like conditions and extreme cold temperatures. The west, they're sitting at 8 degrees today Celsius. So pretty warm Chinook air through Alberta. Carrying on here, overlooking Africa, parts of Europe. You've still got some strong systems coming in this week. A couple of them are going to get locked in the Mediterranean. Possible cyclone here heading towards Madagascar in the long range. Looks like it will head straight across Madagascar before heading towards Mozambique, Zambia. South Africa has been inundated by multiple low-pressure systems over this last little while. Thoughts and prayers going out to all the people affected by flash floods. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, watch for multiple possible cyclones here to be forming and heading towards northern parts of Australia in this long-range forecast. We could see a doozy make landfall in the Northeast Territories of Australia. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide as these forecasts can change daily, sometimes even at a moment's notice. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. We almost hit a thousand likes in last night's video, and that's amazing. More people are tuning in. And thank you so much for being a part of this community and family. I truly don't know where I'd be without you all.
So thank you for staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared. Going to leave you here looking at the polar vortex. This is what it looks like right now. Quite oblonged and not your regular polar vortex shape. As our North Pole is fighting with our magnetic north. Trying to figure out where you all want to settle down for the polar vortex. But while that's happening, it's affecting our weather. And we're seeing some great changes happening across the Northern Hemisphere. Just look what happened to Ireland in the United Kingdom the other day. Massive superstorm. Bringing hurricane force winds, 180 kilometer per hour winds in some areas. This is a look around the world at our upper level winds showing, depicting our polar vortex. This is a look at 2025 versus 2024. Last year at this time versus 2025. That's quite a change. Please share this video, this channel, all this information and love and this community with your friends and family. Going through all these great changes together and I'm so happy I'm able to document them and share them with you all. This is a look at our polar vortex this year versus last year. Hope you enjoyed the show and if you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Get in the comments section let me know what you enjoyed the most. Timestamp. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun.